1633, Galileo, who I'm sure you all heard about, invented the telescope and dropped balls off uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa and so on. Galileo was tried by the Inquisition. Now, the Italian Inquisition was just as big a barrel of laughs as the Spanish Inquisition. You can imagine what it was like. At the time, the man was 79 years of age, and he had published a book where he said, surprise, surprise, and shock and horror, that the earth revolved around the sun. The earth revolved around the sun. Not exactly what you'd call uh, a huge and radical thing, but in 1633, the church had, uh, st had been stating now for some thousand years that the earth was the centre of the universe and it was created by God and everything revolved around the earth. A bit like some people you know, that everything revolves around them. So Galileo was tried for heresy and was uh, actually uh, at the age of nearly 80 brought before the tribunal with a hangman's noose around his neck and they made him recant what he had said publicly that the earth was the centre of the universe and it did not move and that the sun and the stars and everything else created by God after he'd created the earth and the church revolved around that. And uh, it's believed to be an apocryphal story, but it's uh, one that has inspired scientists for generations since that time. Under his breath he muttered, Epo si move, which means, but still it moves. So, y'all recant it publicly, but we know what the truth is. These people were not interested in change in any way, shape or form. I love that story, I think it's great, and I think it demonstrates a bit of cowardice on his part, but he was an old man, you can understand that. And I, I, I want you to embrace that thought process, that thinking, okay, because that's what makes the difference when it comes to change.